My name is Grace Ledoux, and I want to welcome you to our virtual end of the week community prayer. Our opening prayer today is sent to us from Bishop Olmsted himself. He is asking all of us to continue to pray for an end to the virus and for healing to all those in need. So let's begin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Holy Virgin of Guadalupe, Queen of the Angels and Mother of the Americas, we fly to you today as your beloved children. We ask you to intercede for us with your son, as you did at the wedding in Cana. Pray for us, loving mother, and gain for our world and nation, and for all our families and loved ones, the protection of your holy angels, and that we may be spared the worst of this illness. For those already afflicted, we ask you to obtain the grace of healing and deliverance. Hear the cries of those who are vulnerable and fearful. Wipe away their tears and help them to trust. In this time of trial and testing, teach all of us in the church to love one another and to be patient and kind. Help us to bring peace of Jesus to our land and to our hearts. We come to you with confidence, knowing that you truly are our compassionate mother. Health of the sick and cause of our joy. Shelter us under the mantle of your protection. Keep us in the embrace of your arms. Help us always to know the love of your Son, Jesus. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now for the feast day. Today is the feast day of St. John of Egypt. John became a hermit when he was only 20 years old. He loved to be alone with God. After studying under an older hermit and then some monks, he found a cave and made his home there. He had only one window, so that he could continue to tell people about God when they came to visit him. He became so famous that even the emperor of Egypt came to see him for advice. He had the gift of prophesy and also the gift of healing. He could see into people's souls and he knew what people were thinking before they even told him. God gave him these gifts so that he could help many people believe in God. Even though he became very famous and lots of people came to see him, he never became prideful and he lived a simple and difficult life so that he could stay close to Jesus. Let us now bow our heads as we listen to Sunday's Gospel reading. The sisters of Lazarus sent word to Jesus, saying, Master, the one you love is ill. When Jesus heard this, he said, This illness is not to end in death, but is for the glory of God, that the Son of God may be glorified through it. Now Jesus loved Martha, and her sister, and Lazarus. So when he heard that he was ill, he remained for two days in the place where he was. Then after this, he said to his disciples, Let us go back to Judea. When Jesus arrived, he found that Lazarus has already been in the tomb for four days. When Martha heard that Jesus was coming, she went to meet him. But Mary sat at home. Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. But even now I know that whatever you ask of God, God will give you. Jesus said to her, Your brother will rise. Martha said, I know he will rise, in the resurrection on the last day. Jesus told her, I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me, even if he dies, will live. And everyone who lives and believes in me will never die. Do you believe this? She said to him, Yes, Lord. I have come to believe that you are Christ, the Son of God, the one who is coming into the world. He became perturbed and deeply troubled and said, Where have you laid him? They said to him, Sir, come and see. And Jesus wept. So the Jews said, See how he loved him. But some of them said, Could not the one who opened the eyes of the blind man have done something so that this man would not have died? So Jesus, perturbed again, came to the tomb. It was a cave, and a stone lay across it. Jesus said, Take away the stone. Martha, the dead man's sister, said to him, Lord, by now there will be a stench. He has been dead for four days. Jesus said to her, Did I not tell you that if you believe, you will see the glory of God? So they took away the stone. And Jesus raised his eyes and said, Father, I thank you for hearing me. I know that you will always hear me. But because of the crowd here, I have said this, and they may believe that you have sent me. And when he had said this, he cried out in a loud voice, Lazarus, come out. The dead man came out, tied hand and foot with burial bands, and his face was wrapped in a cloth. 
So Jesus said to him, Untie him and let him go. Now many of the Jews who had come to Mary and seen what he had done began to believe in him. As we move on to our intercessions, let us now take a moment to call to mind the needs of others and those closest to our hearts. We ask our Blessed Mother Mary to intercede on our behalf with these prayer requests as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We would like to thank our entire St. John community for making this week such a great week. Please join me in reciting our mission statement. We are a real Catholic community that nurtures the whole child through academic excellence, 21st century innovation, and active Catholic stewardship. We will now end courtyard prayer with a list of birthdays. These birthdays are from March 8th through March 28th. We have a lot of people to celebrate, so stay with me. Brody Martin, Meadow Davey, Peter Padgett, Caitlin Markham, Abigail Donovan, Lily Thomas, Bella Bloom, Avery Bergman, John Bergman, Kate Geyer, Lucy Wyrick, Louise Romo, Cohen Pierce, Landon Hintz, Will Larby, Lucas Lamb, Dylan Francis, Cecilia Dix, Lillian Nadell, Zoe Hans, Nicholas Aulius, Liam Morosovic, Eve Matteris, Lily Garcia, Elise Van Carty, Mia Rumor, Gracie Atterbury, Cash Ledoux, Jacob Nadell, Dylan Cardoza, Kayla Cardoza, Evan Morosovic, Andrew Gahan, Bridget Arviso, Olivia C Celestina, Colton Spade. Happy birthday, everyone. Last but not least, students, don't forget to attend our online mass this weekend. God is good all, all the time. time. All the time. God, God is good. St. John the 23rd, pray, pray for us. us. Have, Have a great, great weekend. weekend.